Hi everyone. Uh, Rob is working on the cheat cake. This is a repeat customer. This is her third time ordering a cake. Um, yes, and I am nervous about letting him handle the whole process. <laughs> but I am. So we'll see how it turns out. This cake consists of a half sheet cake and then four square cakes and he's cut and so you can see the shape is coming along so far. He hasn't done any carving yet, just cut the cakes and done pieces together. And he wants to do the wheels out of Rice Krispie Treats. I was opposed to this, but I'm letting him handle it. I'm relinquishing control, so to speak. So if you don't see him in any more videos, that means that he did not survive the Jeep cake. Okay. More later on the Jeep cake. Maybe. This is the cake so far. Okay. These got a little squishy. Robert had to cut them because they didn't quite fit. So let me get a front view. The cake is very heavy for me to move my hand. So you can see. The top part is supposed to be brown, so we're going to put some chocolate fondant on top. Here's the side view, the little gas tank. And the bumper. Not so bad for our first 3D car cake. Heck, we've never even done a 2D one, so not too bad. I'll move the table. Hi everyone, um, Robert is going to introduce um, the cheap cake that we did. It wasn't too bad for our first one. There are things we would have done differently next time around, and we do have a car cake to do in October, so we'll see if that one turns out a little better. But take it away, Rob! Alright, this is kind of weird. I'm actually being allowed to talk on one of Maria's videos. This is quite a privilege. Uh, I want to just talk a little bit about what we did here. Um, the grill is gum paste and what we did was we painted it silver some black stripes and if you know Jeeps, Jeeps are supposed to have seven stripes but I messed up so we ended up with five we started with seven but it's a long story and we painted, painted the headlights white now if you see the support the support is a very strong foam board that we get through one of our friends and so this, that's what's actually holding up the Jeep. And then we kind of stuck the wheels outside, but the wheels offer no support at all. They're just there for decoration. And so we started. I started off by taking a picture of a real Jeep, and I drew out the foam board to match a real Jeep structure. However, I did something wrong, uh, and I think I needed to get... I, need, I think I needed to elevate the Jeep some more and I think I needed bigger wheels because this area here from here to here is supposed to be longer. So that's why it looks a little bit off when compared to a real Jeep. And also because I didn't measure right, I had to kind of chop the wheels a little bit to make the wheels fit into the wheel wells. So that was a mistake too. So I'm a little bit unhappy because we made a lot of mistakes, but I'm happy because I think we, we got the gist of it. So we got the actual shape of a real Jeep. So for the next one, we'll just try to do a little better. And by the way, in case you're wondering, that's actually five tiers of cake. Or five layers of cake, sorry. Five layers of cake to go up that high. So it may not look that big in the picture, but it's about 12 inches tall, approximately. 
So of course, uh, to add a little bit of a decoration to the front, we have the little skull with wings, and of course we put a whole bunch of lights there. Tell the story that it's for an actual board to get in the car. And then we put the spare wheel in the back. And Maria did pretty good with painting on the Jeep logo. Now what's nice about this customer is this same customer ordered the Charlie Brown cake a few months ago. And so she's buying a real Jeep for her son. So this will be the cake to go along with it. Hope you like it and hopefully Maria will let me talk again in the future. Thanks. Take